found out my 27 male newlywed wife, 28 female of six months, has been having an affair with another married co-worker, 33 male while out of town for work. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe, so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Found out, my 27 male newlywed wife, 28 female of 6 months, has been having an affair with another married co-worker, 33 male while out of town for work. Hey Riddit, this sucks, but getting it off my chest and hearing others' thoughts has done a lot for my recovery. Some backstory, I met my wife just over two years ago upon returning from a military deployment. She is in the military as well and had just moved to the same town for a long-term training syllabus. We hit it off great better than any other relationship I had been in by a long shot with plenty of strong defining moments. We've had stupid fights over things like the air quad not working but overall awesome at conflict resolution and not fighting routinely. Just over a year into dating, we moved in together and bought a puppy. That fall, I got her father's permission and proposed. Our families have had a great relationship with us and each other. She then had to move to another state for another six months of training before we would be back together. So we got legally married to ensure we'd get orders together, not uncommon in the military. With COVID going on, our leave requests were routinely denied minus the Thanksgiving slash Christmas period until both of us were vaccinated. I finally had leave approved and plane tickets to see her the week this all fell apart. While apart, we FaceTime every night, texted throughout the day, we're house shopping for our next duty station together. Continued to plan our real wedding in the church and with friends and family. Did taxes, watched movies, and plenty more to facilitate the long distance. Hours before I found about the affair, we were having a conversation about how exciting it is that our period of distance is coming to a close and how strong we were in making it work. Both of us had been in long-distance relationships prior to meeting each other, so we knew how to do it right. Then I received an odd message from someone on Facebook. Hey, our spouses are fucking each other. I found pictures and videos. I ignored it, thinking it was spam and that the next message would be a link for my credit card information or something. Then, he called me when you can. Your wife and my husband are fucking each other. I have pics and videos on what's up. It's happened three times unprotected. They've also said I love you. At this point, I'm realizing this isn't spam, but instead maybe this poor woman is having a weird mental breakdown. I called my wife and asked her to check in on her friend when mid-phone called the pictures and videos were sent to me. My niece gave out, and the only thing I remember was hearing my wife say I'm sorry. I was never going to tell you. I accidentally knocked a glass off of the counter behind me when I fell and stepped on. Blood everywhere, but I wasn't even feeling it. I call my boss and tell him I can't come to work tomorrow. I call my mother and my best friend. The bleeding didn't stop by the morning so I went to the ER and I received six stitches, which just came out this week. My wife called me every minute for the next several hours, but I ignore them. Since then... I've had limited contact with my wife other than a couple of phone calls where I do my best to control my emotions and ask why. She says felt an immense amount of guilt about our next duty station. I didn't get the job I wanted, but it wasn't her fault. And claims she felt pressured whenever I would routinely say it's okay. All I need to be happy is to be with you. She also claims how lonely and purposeless she felt going through her training and that this other husband was already confiding in her about his unhappy marriage of 16 years with three kids. She admits to saying she loved him and that she had an emotional connection with him, but didn't mean it. She just didn't want to hurt him by not saying it back. On my end, she claims I never did anything wrong and that she accepts full blame. I decided that no matter what, I needed a lawyer. 
he pointed out that under military law, I could charge her and the other husband with adultery and some other crimes, and that they could lose their jobs pretty easily. After plenty of thought and therapy sessions, I decided that vengeance won't solve anything here and that we really just need a clean-cut divorce under civilian law. Since we only got legally married right before my wife moving, we've maintained separate finances and shares no asset or debt right now. I've also been the dog's primary caretaker and has been registered under my name and state, so I want to keep him. Here's what I keep asking myself. Am I rushing into the divorce? My wife seems truly remorseful and wants to stay together, but I can't tell if she's just feeling ashamed or actually sorry. My therapy leads me to believe she is very deeply narcissistic and that she needs professional help and that I need to accept that she's not the woman I thought I married. I wouldn't say I proposed earlier than I would like, but we definitely got paper married early to ensure our careers would keep us together and we're in a very exciting phase of buying a home and planning their real wedding with friends and family. We've tackled many obstacles together throughout our relationship super well, but this is the first one where I feel our team is divided. Either way, I don't want to see her anytime soon after what's happened. Let alone buy a house with her or feel like I can trust her when we eventually go on our next deployment. While it may seem quick, I feel like the end result of divorce is the rational option that's best for both of us. If anything, and we were truly meant to be, we can always get married and the real way since we're still going to the same duty station next anyway. But she needs to get this demon out of her that caused her to go wayward.